All right, how is everybody doing? Everybody awake? Cool. So how many sixth graders do we have here? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a hundred. Okay. Is that all right? I think I, I think that's a hundred. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Gems School. What, okay, Gems Winchester, Jebelali, right? Uh, I almost got lost on the way here, uh, which is all right. Okay, good morning, everyone. Thank you for having us. Welcome to the Oasis and Lackmore School Workshops. Today, we're going to be having a lot of fun. We've got two microphones here. You can come up and give your answers, give your questions when my friend asks about that, okay? We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to learn a lot. What are we going to learn about? We're going to learn about uh, healthy food groups, nutrition, how to stay healthy. Is that cool? All right. And above that, guys, we're going to have a very big competition, which you guys can win a very, very big prize. Tell your moms, tell your dads about this, because you can win a very special prize in the Small Voice Book Reference Competition of the Oasis Council of Environment and Lackner Council of Health. Okay? So you can turn your ideas about health and environment into life. You might have an idea, okay, to inspire others to be healthier, to inspire others to have a healthier environment. So you share that idea with us, and you can win a one-year school tuition fee. All right? So you win. Next year, it's on us. Maybe, if not that, you can win an annual subscription of sports, music, science lessons. You want to learn about science? We got classes for that. You want to learn some new sports? We got classes for that. That will be on us. No worry about that. Plus, your winning idea will make you a part of the Oasis Council of Environment and Lackner Council of Health, where you can see your ideas come to life in action, shared with all the young kids around the UAE. Also, are you excited to help other kids, okay? Help the UAE become a better place and win a prize? You don't sound so excited. Are you excited? All right, then you can visit OasisKidsCouncil.com or LackmoreKidsCouncil.com. Maybe check the posters we will leave in your school to learn more about this. And also, you can check the activity book in the gift bag. Ah, now everybody's interested, huh? Gift bag that your teachers will later give it to you. It's from us, from Lackmoor and Oasis. So, everybody feeling cool, feeling happy? All right, okay, one thing. So about healthy ideas, about how to make others healthy. Anybody got a special idea? Huh? How to help others, to help the environment? Hmm? You? Come up, come up. All right, that's cool. How you doing, my friend? All right, come up to the microphone. What's your name, buddy? Majd. What? Majd. All right, Majd, how you doing? Everybody give it up for Majd, first of all. Hi. What's your cool idea, Majd? Uh, everybody can be healthy by eating uh, fruits and vegetables daily and stop drinking food for at least a week. All right. That's a great idea. Cool. Okay. Everybody happy now? Okay. You see, you can have more idea. You have an idea too? Come up. Come up. No worries. Camera. Hello, my name is Adib. All right. Uh, and my idea is to make uh, like junk food from uh, from vegetables. Mm -hmm. We can we can make a like a burger uh, from vegetables. We can put uh, food uh, food coloring and uh, food, uh, and then we can make it uh, taste like burger. And it would be a healthy food because it's made out of vegetables. Isn't that a great idea, everybody? Right. Yes, sir. Hey, hi, ma'am. How you doing? I am Liza, and my idea is if we chop down more trees, it's better to plant more. Okay. You see, those are the simple ideas. You want? You want? You have an idea too? Okay. We'll do one idea and one idea. Okay. 
and then we'll start and go on and have fun and learn more. All right, you come up to, you come up to, how you doing? What's your name? Sean. Hi, how are you? Feeling good? Yeah. Cool. So we can eat healthy snacks like fruits and vegetables every day and stop the junk food. You can have uh, once in twice in two weeks junk food maybe from outside and eat daily healthy food. Isn't that how to, you can be healthy, right? All right, give it up for her. And you, sir, how you doing? Feeling good? Yeah, I'm good. Looking good. How you doing, man? Um, All right. What's your idea? My idea is that uh, that we stop buying junk food so we force ourselves to eat healthy. Only only fruits, vegetables are in the house, not, no junk food at all. Yeah, like how many junk foods are you going to eat, right? Start eating yeah. healthy, everyone. Come on. You can share your ideas and... Everybody here got a great idea. Okay, I'm not going to take more ideas. Sorry about that. You can, uh, because I have my friends has to come over. You're a hundred people. If I keep saying, hey, God. hi again. Okay, you see, uh, other than the hundred students we have here, we have your friends here. Uh, they're not crammed up in this, but they're looking at you right now. Can you give them a big wave? All right. Hey, everybody watching us. Uh, you can watch yourself later. On YouTube, your teachers will share the link with you. But now, uh, let me present to you my dear friend here, Miss, I swear to God, I forgot your name. Mia. Okay. Uh, we have Mia here. <laughs> She's from the Dubai Municipality. She's got to talk about food, healthy food groups. Give it up for her. And we're going to have two special friends coming over too. Hello, everyone. Good morning. I can't hear you. How are you today? Very good. Have you drink? Did you drink your milk today? Who drank their milk today? That's a good number. Good, good. So I'll be talking to you about nutrition and food safety. But before we do so, I'll be talking about how to wash your hands. Now, when should we wash our hands? Hmm. Anytime. <laughs> That's a good answer. You. You can come up. What's you your wash name? your hands before eating your food. Before eating your food. Excellent. You over there. What's your name? Dana. Hi, Dana. Hi. Like, we can wash our hands when we come from somewhere. Like, for example, when you go... Uh, like after school, you go to your home and you yes. wash your hands. Excellent. You over there. You and the one behind him. Yeah, it's okay, one at a time. We wash our hands uh, after doing our chores. Yes, excellent. We wash our hands before touch, like when we off our shoes, then, then we have to wash our hands. Excellent. One last person. You over there. We can wa we can uh, wash our hands before and after food, and uh, uh, also like before going down and after coming from play. Excellent. That's great. That's a great answer. Would you clap for your friends? That's great. So we should wash our hands after using the toilet, before and after having your meal, after sneezing or coughing, after playing outside, or after playing with your pets. Yeah? Great. So how do we wash our hands? Does anyone know how we're supposed to wash our hands? You in the green shirt. Yes, you can come over. You must put your hands under the faucet, yes. turn on the water, put soap, and then you'll do this rotation. Ex excellent, that's great. You can come over. Yes, you. Yes. <laughs> we need to wash our hands after we eat. Excellent, that's great. Would you clap for your friends? Great. How do we wash our hands? 
What is the right way of doing it? Yeah. yeah. First, we water our hands a bit. Then we uh, do this. Yes. And then we wash between the fingers. Excellent. We wash our thumbs and then our middle of our palms and then the back side of our hands. That's a very good answer. Would you clap for your friend? Thank you very much. So you're supposed to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Another way of doing it is singing the happy birthday song for two times. You're supposed to wash it on the front, on the back, between your fingers, under your nails and your thumb. Is that okay? Yes? Excellent. So you need to make washing your hands a habit. Doing it all the time. Friends. This is Jamila and this is Nasheed. And they'll be helping with carbohydrates or starches. Uh, bread contains carbohydrates. That's excellent. Oats. Excellent. Yes. Pasta. Great. Yes. Yes. Oops. Potatoes. Okay. Great. That's correct. Wheat. Yes. That's excellent. So, uh, we have a type of carbohydrates called whole grains, and these are the ones that you should aim for. It's mostly the brown type. So, these are very good for you because it keeps you full and it gives you energy. It has fiber, which is good for your stomach. Louder? Excellent. And it has B-complex vitamins. And then we're going to talk about the next food hero which is Salim. This is Salim. He represents our meats. Who can give me an example of a meat? Mm, let's see. You. Yeah. Hello. Sheeps. Yes, correct. Fresh meat. Meat from the sheep. Okay, yes, you. Yeah. <laughs> Cow. From the cow, yes. Meat, fresh meat from the cow, red meat. Yes. Mutton. Mutton. Yes, that's correct. There is a little friend that we have that's in the farm. A chicken, yes. And what about the, our other friend that swims? Yes, excellent. So why do we need proteins? They're good for what? For muscles. Yes, we need proteins for muscles. They help you build muscles. They help build your bones, your skin, and your blood. So uh, proteins contain a lot of B vitamins. And now we're going to show you our next food hero. We have fruits, which is our friend Jamila. Hello, Jamila. So, what does Jamila represent? Our fruits. Who can give me another example of a fruit? What types of fruits do you have in your lunch boxes today? Mm. Last one over there. Yes. Hello there. Uh, my name is Riley, and uh, in my lunchbox, I have oranges. You have? Oranges. That's great. Oranges are very good. They're a good source of vitamin C. Mm, let's see. Who did not answer? The one on the red mask. With the red mask, yes? Hello. Hi, my name is Samaya, and I have... Cucumbers and and carrots. Okay. And a few slices of apples. Apples, that's great. 
One last answer. Let's see. <laughs> there are so many of you. How do I choose? You. The one screaming, me! Me! Hi. Hello. I have peaches. Wow, I really like the peaches. They're my favorite fruit. Yeah. They're really good. Great. So, before eating your fruits, you need to make sure that you wash them very properly. Is that okay? Fruits contain a lot of vitamins and minerals, and they help you for your immunity. And we need that right now, right? Since it's there's corona. Is that right? Excellent. And now we're going to talk about our next food hero. Who is this? I can't hear you. That's Nasheed. Yes, over here. Hello, Nasheed. So, Nasheed represents the vegetables. Vegetables contain fiber, and we've mentioned that before. Fiber is good for what? Yes, it's good for your gut health. It's good for your stomach. So, vegetables, they contain a lot of antioxidants, which is very good for you. Can someone give me an example of a red vegetable? <laughs> Green shirt, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, my name is Ahmed. And an example of a vegetable is a potato. Potato. What about a red vegetable? Okay. Yeah. A tomato. Excellent. Okay. How about an orange? An orange vegetable. <laughs> yes, yes, you over there. Yeah. Carrots. Excellent, that's great. And last one, a green vegetable. You. Lettuce. Excellent, that's great. So these are different types of vegetables. Like the fruits, vegetables need to be washed very properly before eating them. And then we will be talking about our next food hero. This is Mufid. Mufid is a dairy. Mufid provides us with a lot of vitamin D. Now, why do we need vitamin D? Shout it out. For our bones, correct? That's excellent. What are some examples of uh, of uh, dairy? Milk, you shouted it out. Cheese, excellent. Yogurt. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your answers. So you said milk, yogurt, cheese. Now, uh, dairy products, they're, they're very important for you, for your bones and for your teeth. They should always be refrigerated. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. Now we'll be talking about the next food hero. This is Latif. Latif represents our nuts and oils. Now, are, are fats healthy? Are you sure? Some fats are healthy. We do have healthy fats. Nuts contain fats. Oils like olive oil or we have fats like avocados. They're very good for us. They have what we call omega-3s and they are good for our brains. Excellent. So one thing to keep in mind is that some people have allergies from nuts. So you need to be careful of that. Is that okay? It's one of the main mean the sources of allergies. Yeah? Great. Okay, so this is what we call the food hero plate. It's a plate that contains all of the different types of our food heroes, our food groups. Your plate should be consumed of all of the six types. Okay. So, 
So when preparing your lunch box, you should ensure to have one of the six types of, uh, of the food groups. Is that okay? The food heroes. Yes, I can't hear you. Excellent. Okay, so now it's game time. Are you ready to play? So the first game, what we'll be doing is testing your memory. Now, who has a good memory? I'm sure you all have very good memories. Is that right? Okay, let's let's put that to a test. So, first of all, you need to remember the arrangement. Who do we have for number one? What's her name? What's her name? Her name is Ghalia. And then the second one is Latif, which represents our nuts and oils. Excellent. And then we have... Great. What does Salim represent? Meat. Excellent. And then we have? And Mufid represents? Great. And then number five? He represents? Number six? What does Jamila represent? Excellent. It seems like you like Jamila the most. You screamed the loudest. You like them all, right? They're all our friends. Okay. So, what was for number one? No, don't shout out the answers. We'll see who. Okay, you with the. Oh, yeah. Sorry? Kalia? <laughs> Great. Let's see. Yes! Yay, he got it right. Then, what was for number two? Okay. Is it Nasheed? Nasheed, let's see. Was it Nasheed? Oops, it was Latif. Okay, what was for number three? It was Salim. Let's see, was it Salim? Was it Salim? Yes. How about number four? Nasheed. Nasheed. Was it Nasheed? Oops. It was Mufid. How about number five? Does anyone know? You. Yes. It was Nasheed. Nasheed. Let's see. Is it Nasheed? Yes, it is. And finally, number six. Okay, yeah. Jameen. Jamila. Let's see. Was it Jamila? Yay! Let's give a round of applause to all of our friends who answered. Thank you very much. And now let's play the next game. So, remember we said that this is the Food Heroes Healthy Plate, right? Okay, let's see. On the next slide, who do we have missing? Hmm, who did not answer? Who did not answer? <laughs> you. Yeah. Mufid. Mufid. Was it Mufid? And then what's the other one? Latif. Yes, you answered. It's Mufid and Latif. Let's see. Yes, that's great. Excellent. Let's give a round of applause. Okay, so here are some examples of healthy snacks, an alternative. So instead of having chips, you can have popcorns. Yes, popcorns are healthy. Instead of having ice cream, you can have some yogurt with fruit. Do you like that? Who likes yogurts with fruits? Okay, how about smoothie? Smoothie with fruits. Is that a better option? 
You can go for that instead. You can have vegetables with dips, such as hummus or labna. Do you like that? That's a nice option. Is that right? So always try to go for the healthier option rather than junk food. Okay, thank you everyone. It was wonderful speaking to all of you. Bye-bye. Everybody, give it up for my friend Mira. I remember your name now. <laughs> all right, did you enjoy that everybody? All right, that's very good. So now guys, we have Doobie here. Do you know, I'm pretty sure everybody's seen Doobie before. Have you seen him before? Where you've seen him? Do you know? Uh, you, you went first. Yeah, yeah, at the back. Yeah, come on. Let me see, because I'm sure you are the first person to answer. How are you doing, my friend? Cool. Lacknor. Exactly. Doobie is here on the Lacknor Milks, okay? Cool. All right, that dropped down. So... Guys, it's, it's very important to eat healthy, as my friend Mira said, okay? So you can drink a lot of milk. Hi, Dr. Alia. Hi, John. That's my friend, Dr. Alia. Everybody, she'll be talking later. So uh, it's very healthy to eat, eat fruits, okay? It's very healthy to drink juices. Lacno juices, no sugar added, 100% natural, okay? Also, make sure you have them in your lunch boxes. I do. Uh, Lacno milk. Or with Doobie here, Doobie, should we drink chocolate milk, okay, or strawberry milk? Give me your right hand for chocolate milk, strawberry milk. All right, chocolate milk it is then, right? So, lacto milks from grass-fed cows, sin natural, again, no sugar added. Everybody here. Okay, one cool thing, my friend here dropped down. Uh, this is a water, this is not milk. So why do we put it in this? Because it's more sustainable, it's more recyclable. It's water in a box. It says, I'm fun, I'm cool, I'm unique. It has those words on it. It's UAE, everybody, everybody knows. It's hot all around the year. Uh, so make sure you keep drinking water. Oh, stay hydrated. And one more thing before I go, okay, guys? The competition, we talked about, everybody had cool ideas. So make sure you tell your moms, tell your dads about this. Participate in the competition because I know. Hi there, how you doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, participate in the competition because you can you could win a one-year school tuition fee or maybe an annual subscription to sports, music, science, and all those type of lessons. Okay. So how do you participate in those? Everybody, anybody remember? by going to oasiskidscouncil.com or lacnerkidscouncil.com. Well, you can check the posters we'll leave in your school. You can also check the activity books and the gift bags we'll give you later. Uh, I see, when I say uh, gift bags, everybody feels happier, huh? <laughs> all right, that's great. So, all right. So that's great. So make sure you participate in that because uh, when first we were talking about that, everybody had some great ideas. It's very easy. You could win. All right, everybody happy? Everybody cool? Everybody going to participate? Okay, that's great. Thank you for having us. And one last thing, say goodbye to yourself if you look at yourself later and your friends watching online. Goodbye, everybody. All right. Thank you so much, Gems. Winchester, Jebel Ali, thank you for having us. It's been a very, very fun day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Lacknor, and thank you, Oasis. All right. Big round of applause for Dubai Municipal.
Come on. I know it's year nine. You're bored, but come on. Give me more energy. How's everybody doing? I enjoy it. I was I was a bit scared from you. I was like, if you, if, you, if you tell me shut up, I'll just working in this program, and we have the rules and these these rules from our Highness Sheikh Mohammed, and we apply it in our department in the farms with the farmers. Okay, next, my dear. Now, my friend, or our sorry, in our department we are working in air water, soil, and plants and animals. All the plants and animals in Dubai related to our department, the beach, the desert, the protected areas, the groundwater, all these projects related to our environment, environment department. Do you have an idea about the word environment? What's the meaning of environment? Then, Precipitate as water or snow. We have two, water or snow. Maybe the water can go over the mountains and the slope precipitate on the highest mountains. Then we have surface water. Sometimes the water settled on the surface as lakes, springs. Sometimes goes down as brown water. After that, we have evaporation. You know the meaning of evaporation. Water ch changed to vapor. After that, condensation. We have the process that we get water from vapor, right? It's a cycle. You can see the cycle. Okay? This is a source of ground water in the nature. Okay? Are you with me? You enjoy it? Okay, thank you. Next. I have, today I have a nice experiment. I don't know what happened to Ghaith here in this picture. It's okay. I have a nice experiment. I'll do it for you. It's about porosity and permeability of water. See, I have the uh, stones with big size in between them. And this is the second type. This one we can call it a gravel. You know the meaning of a gravel? Yeah, gravel, big size. Then medium, we can say it's sand. It's sand. And it's a smaller size. See? I will put it in the front. You can distinguish. And here I have clay. Uh, clay or silt. It's the smallest size of pores, okay? The smallest size or the places in between the particles. Now, uh, my, my experiment consists of, what is this? Filter paper. What is this? Funnel. What is this? Beaker, right? This is big size of beaker. We have beaker, we have funnel, we have filter paper. You have it in your lab? Yes. I will try to put each side my stones inside the filter paper. Okay. Okay. And now, concentrate, please. I want you to tell me which one of them can get much more water. Which one do you think? Yeah, which color? Are you agree, all of you with me, the green? Are you agree with me? Who said the blue? <laughs> Who said orange? No. Yes, great students, thank you. Green has more water than the others. That means when you have stones with the big porosity or big spaces or pores in between, the permeability will be very high. The permeability will be very high. See now, this one, the blue is than the green, and the A absorb the water. When you have a soil of clay 
or silt, you cannot get ground water, okay? Next, Next. yeah. Um, can you show us the film? But move to the film. Okay, I want the materials for the, okay. Today, I will teach you how to make clouds and to understand the concept, concept of clouds. Yeah. Open loudly. Repeat it from the beginning. No sound. Shaving foam. Food coloring. Water. You see, we have three materials. I started with the foam, shaving foam, yeah. This is the cloud. These are our clouds. Okay. After I put the food coloring, see drops. It shows us like what? Rain, you see? Is it nice? Yes. I will do it for you also. This is my water, my clouds from the shaving foam. Then I will use food coloring. Okay. See? It's look like the rain. Yeah. Now the rain came from the clouds after condensation inside the clouds. It's clear now the concept of water and the groundwater, water cycle. It's a refreshment maybe if, if you, those information you took it in grade seven, maybe <laughs> six, okay? Okay. Next, my dear. Next. Okay. What is the common word here on this slide? What is the common word? Water, bravo. Why? What do you think? What's your comments on, this, on finding a lot of words in this slide of water? Huh? What's your thinking, planting, manufacture, in the, in the, in the, in the fact, uh, factories, all of them, in the farms, in the school, everywhere. You can live without water. Imagine if you want to, if you want to make a cup of coffee, you, you need 140 liters of water. Imagine. Too much. It's a cup of water. You know, a cup of water, you think it's little, but we need 140 for now. Yeah, we are wasting a lot of water. What do we have to do towards the water? Yeah, we have to conserve the water. We have to make sustainability for the water. We have to protect the water. Unless... What will happen? What will happen if we didn't care about the water? What will happen? 
Hydration, oh yes. We have a problems also. We have a lot of problems. We're gonna face sometimes wars came because of water. You know this, wars for water. water. Is there anybody of you who think to study water? Huh? Is there anybody of you want to study water? Are you thinking to study water, subject of water? How you study water? How? I studied water, all my subjects water. Huh? Tell me. Right? I'm advising you these subjects very important for the future. Mashallah, now we have a lot of computer engineering, mechanical, electrical, civil, right? But do we have a lot of water? No. This subject is very important because now we have shortage of water all over the world. Even the countries, they have water, it's polluted. You know the meaning of polluted? There is contamination. India, they have a big sources of water, but it's contaminated. Yes, contaminated, right? In UAE, we don't have source of water, just the groundwater. And it's very less, very less amount of water. Now I will show you a map, show you the location of water in Dubai. That means we don't have a lot of water. We don't have fresh water in Dubai. We have lakes, springs, fallage. We don't have anything, right? And also at home, when you are using the water, take care. When you want to wash your car or home car, don't use the pipe. Use the spray water. Reduce the consumption of water. When you are coming to the school, bring re portable or renew what we call it, the bottles that you can refill it and bring it the amount you, you, you use it. Don't buy bottles and throw it everywhere. And some, sometimes if you are coming to the gym, you have disposable bottles, you can find a lot of bottles after you left, and you, do, you just you take little water. What about the water and the bottles? <laughs> Very meaning. We will throw it. See how much we are throwing water. How much the cost to make this fresh water? Because we don't have a fresh water, we have to do salination. Recently, you know this? We make evaporation for salt water to get fresh water. Oh, it's very expensive. We have to think seriously about water. Okay? We have now program in the farms. Next, my dear. Okay, this is the map. While you are going to the shore, huh, the groundwater very less. Or it's saline. You know the meaning of saline? Full of salt. You cannot use it for you cannot use it for agriculture, for drinking, for farms, for anything. When you go far from the shore inside Dubai, you see this is the map of Dubai, you can see a lot of wells. Those areas called Khawanij. Hibab, Laisley, not this area, we are in Jebel Ali, that area, the opposite, okay? That area consists of a lot of wells. We have about 3,500 wells, 1,000 of them is working, yani every day we can consume water from it. Next, my dear, this is my program, Groundwater Conservation Program. I have five aims in my program. The first aim to stop flood irrigation, which is very important. And instead of flood irrigation, I have to use sprinklers. You know this, subsurface, droppers, those, all of them, a way technique to reduce consumption of water, okay? The second issue, when you want to Dig a well, you have to come to our department to take lacing, to take flow meter from our department, to use a guy who will dig for you the well, he has lacing also. Okay? A lot of regulations if you want to have well, unless your well is illegal. Okay? 
The third aim is to use organic fertilizers and pesticides. You know why? Why? To avoid contamination of the soil and the ground water. After that, please don't use plants consume a lot of water. Like the plant, if you hear about it, called rhodes. Rhodes, this plant, it's a beauty plant. It is not giving fruits or vegetables, but consume a lot of water. What's the benefit of this one? We have to stop planting roads, okay? And stop plant plants that use for food for animals. The last one, please, please use solar energy in the farms. Stop using petroleum material because when you are burning petroleum material, you will get carbon dioxide from burning the petroleum. You get waste, penetrate to the groundwater, and you will lose energy. Use clean energy, avoid contamination, and avoid footprint. You know footprint, right? You know the meaning of footprint? Yeah, increase the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Increase by burning petroleum material. Next, my dear. This is example, no flood irrigation. No. Now in Dubai, we stop flood, flood irrigation. And it's not good if we visited your farm and we can find the flood irrigation. Not good. Next, my dear. See what, what is the, the good one? Sprinkler, drip, and subsurface. You know this technique. Reduce decay, reduce consuming a lot of water, and you can get a good and a big amount of crops. Right? Okay, next. This is about fertilizers and pesticides. Should be organic. Organic, not chemical. Anything chemically is harmful for us, for plants, for animals, for even the soil and water. Imagine. <laughs> for, you see, soil, yes, it's harmful for soil and water. Next. This is an example for plants, how much consuming water. Imagine tomato uh, consume three to seven liter of water per day. And the uh, palm tree use also 13 to 20. But the cucumber, even 1.8 to 2 liter per day. It's a lot of amount of water. This is per one tree. Imagine if you have farm all the time, <laughs> you power what? Water. Next. Thank you very much for listening to my lecture. Uh, I'm so happy to meet you and to give you a brief about water and the groundwater. And uh, me, my colleagues, Safiya and Raif, we want to say for you hi, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, tell, him, tell him hi. <laughs> you enjoy the lecture, and now we will do simple activity with you. We will color this sticker. It's about a story. If you like to read it, you can go to the website of Dubai Municipality. The story there, it's called Life Treasure. Me and my colleagues, we wrote it by us about the granddaughter. And you can read it. And this is a simple picture of the story. You can color it on a plant. We will give you a gift, plant. You take it home. You take care about the plant and enjoy watching the growing of the plant. Are you satisfied with water? Are you happy with the groundwater? Do you like the lecture of water? Yeah, have a nice day. Yalla, enjoy the coloring. Okay, enjoy the coloring and the plants. You can remove the sticker and wrap it around the plant. If you need help, we will help you. Thank you. All right, everybody got their plants going on? I do. So, uh, Dr. Ali, I talked about environment and how to keep it more healthy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, one more thing, Oasis loves to bring a sustainable future to all of you. So, you know, they use, they're using less plastic. Back then, they used water bottles. 
Um, they, they reduced it to 45%, and now they're doing it in uh, these. So it's more recyclable, and I hope you buy them. But again, <laughs> she told you guys, uh, I hope you guys have your own little bottles so you don't keep buying the you know, one-time use bottles. That's that. Now, moving on, may I call on the school representative of, of James Manchester, Winchester, <laughs> James Winchester, Jebel Ali, uh, Miss, Miss Dahia, Miss Dahia, and to, uh, to award the plaque, may I call on the head of marketing of NFPC, and also to the representative of Dubai Municipality's Food Safety, please. Hi, we're not gonna Miss Mira, please. And Dr. Alia here. Thank you. For wise words. Miss Sophia, please. Yes. May I call on the school representative, Ms. Minakshi Dahia? So once again, let me mention the competition because you guys can win a very big prize. Oh, there it is, Miss Mike. Hi. You can win a very big prize of a one-year school tuition fee or an annual subscription to, you know, science classes, music classes, or dance classes if you want. Hi. And the way you do it is you buy our, you know, either Lacnor or Oasis. They have a small label on them. You buy them and you scan the code. Then it will give you a small code. Then you share your exciting ideas with us on Instagram via video format. And don't forget to write your unique code down there. Tag Lacnor Arabia, hashtag Lacnor Healthy Future, and tag Oasis UAE and hashtag Oasis Healthy Planet. Because... Uh, and your winning idea will make you a part of the Oasis Council of Environment and Lacknor Council of Health. Here is your school representative. Welcome, ma'am. Hi. Hello, Mr. Dahia. How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much to James the Winchester School for having us, uh, for being an advocate of sustainability and health and inspiring kids to make a positive change, a better future.
Please give a round of applause to your own school, to Lackmore Oasis and Divine Municipality. Morning, how are you all today? I'd like you all to join me to thank the Dubai Municipality Department the Department of Environment, the Department of Food Safety, and uh, the LACNOR team here to support them to deliver the messages that you have attended today. What do you have in your hands? So what are you going to do? So I think they're going to come back, and you have to come back with the plant how well you have. If you can, if you can, Keep it and show and capture how it's growing month by month. It can survive more than a year. It's and one they can month. give you a picture when their yes. plants is growing and they're taking care. And we will appreciate the best students who cares about his plant. Yes. And your principal will send for me the picture and we will see. <laughs> yes, the plant survives the Dubai heat. It's called, does anybody know the name of this plant? So a common name for it is known as Vinca. Vinca. It flowers throughout the year. It needs very little maintenance, but it does need care. Any plant grows well if you take good care of the plant, which is it should have natural light, it should have enough water, and your love and care. Try and talking to your plant saying how beautiful it made your day by looking at it. I want to add to my, uh, my friend that the plants also increase the oxygen in the atmosphere. And we want to reduce the footprint. Uh, you remembered I talked to you about footprint. Okay. Are we listening? Are we listening? Thank you. Um. How many times a week should we water it, or a month? Few drops, few drops per day. Okay. Few drops, just. Okay. okay, thank you. A good way to check it is also touch. If it's dry, maybe the place you've placed it, it needs a little bit more than drops. Right? Do take care of it and feel the accomplishment and sense of achievement. It's good. So thank you again. Thank you to thank all you. the organizers for today. Thank We're really, so really thankful. And thank you all students. Uh, they said they are very impressed with you. So I hope they'll continue to say that till they exit. You are here as an audience to listen to them and engage with them. Your opportunity to engage with each other is outside of this presentation. Okay? Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, I hope uh, you take care of your plants. Everybody got their plants? Everybody? Good. That's good. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, one last thing. We got uh, our friends here in the live stream watching. You can watch yourself later. Uh, please give them a goodbye wave. Thank you. It's here. All right. Thank you so much. 
Thank you to your school. Thank you to my municipality. Thank you, Lacknor and Oasis for having us. We'll be joining you again, those on the live stream tomorrow. We'll be visiting around 44 schools. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Thank you.